Hey everybody, here's your new iPad. Let's see how to set it up. All right, start by hitting the home button. Choosing English, choosing United States, set up manually. Then students will be asked to select a network. Please select Apple Setup. Once they select Apple Setup, they will sign into the iPad and then the apps will flow in. After it's all set up, then they can join the MCSD Net. Remote management is exactly what we want. This allows our apps to go in. It corrects the time. And again, you put your username in. And your password. Please enable location services. Now the clock is fixed and in a moment you'll see things coming in. One point of interest, your student handbook is right there. MCSD support, that's for any technical issues right there. And that's all you have right now the apps will start rolling in. Here they come. As these apps are coming in, you'll notice they, the lines turn around like a clock. That also happens as each app updates you will run into problems if the apps do not update when they're supposed to. It will happen automatically as long as the iPad is on Wi-Fi and the battery is over 50%. If those two then you won't have any problems. Please don't interrupt this process. It will take a few minutes. Now the students can go into their settings app, go into the Wi-Fi and click on MCSD net. This will allow them to use Safari go on Teams and use all the apps with regards to the internet. You're gonna put in your username and password. Just the first name period, last name. And then whatever your password is. All right, so let's try Microsoft Teams. And you're gonna put in your entire username with the at K12, mcsd.net. Then it's gonna ask you for that again. So just put that in again. And then on the next line, you're going to put in your password. Say OK. Got it. And now it's put, it'll put you in. 
And here's my activity for you parents. If you want to see what this student, what your student has as far as assignments, you can click on the assignments down here and it will show all of the assignments that are outstanding. Back to Teams, and now you can go through and pick and choose what you want to do. If I now go into Word and say Get Started, it will sign me in automatically because I'm already in Teams. Once you sign into one Microsoft app, they all will sign in. And every time you open them, they'll sign you in automatically.